Welcome back to the site of the Benarva Plantation House inside Pettigrew State Park for our special mini-series on the connections between Somerset Place and the lost Pettigrew Plantations. Last time, Noah covered the early history of Benarva and the interrelated enslaved communities. The enslavers were also socially connected. Charles Lockhart Pettigrew, who took over the business of Benarva in 1846, always maintained a good relationship with the neighboring Collinses. Seven years later, he married Jane Caroline North, and the young couple socialized frequently with Josiah III and Mary. They attended teas, dinners, and the weekly reading club at the Collins home, and exchanged gifts and treats. The Collinses, who were older than their neighbors, doted over the Pettigrew's young children. Jane and Mary also shared a passion for gardening, and they frequently exchanged plants, flowers, and fruits. We learn about all this through the Pettigrew's letters, where they express their thoughts about the Collins family. Although Jane exhibited her husband's fondness for their neighbors, she complained that the reading club was boring, writing that, the evenings are well enough, rather tiresome though, I don't like to say so. Mrs. Collins seems so pleased and is so kind a person, but I can scarcely sit still the two hours. As we see, the Pettigrews lived a life of luxury and leisure, giving them plenty of time to socialize. But all this derived from the forced labor of enslaved persons. By 1860, Charles enslaved 158 people, which, although lesser than the Collinses, firmly established the Pettigrews in an elite minority. One luxury was their residence in the Benarva Plantation House. But this structure actually burned on April 19, 1860, and was replaced the following year. The only images we have of the second house are exterior shots when it was in serious disrepair almost a century later. It was a two-story dwelling three bays long and two bays deep, built upon brick piers. It also had two brick chimneys and a central staircase. Unlike its predecessor, which fronted Lake Phelps, the new home faced the Bonarva Canal. At the same time the Bonarva House was completed, the Civil War erupted and permanently changed the plantation. As at Somerset Place, most or all the formerly enslaved people did not remain at Benarva after the war, and the Pettigrews could not restore their antebellum prosperity. The plantation remained in the family until 1885, after which the dwelling house was intermittently occupied by tenants until the 1930s. During this time, owners or residents added dormers on the second floor and a bay window on the south side. There was also a rear wing on the house, as seen in this aerial photo, but it's not clear what it was or when it was erected. Among the house's post-war residents was the family of James and Mary Long, who moved in in 1914. Their son Lillian later remembered the Pettigrew sawmill and fishing in the canal with bow nets, like the one seen here. A portion of the plantation was preserved by the state of North Carolina which formed Pettigrew State Park in 1939. However, the Bonarva House fell into disrepair by the time William Tarleton was researching and restoring Somerset Place in the early 1950s. He wrote that much of the material used in this restoration work was salvaged from the house standing at the Bonarva Pettigrew Place. The house had deteriorated to such an extent by 1953 as to be a fire hazard and in danger of falling. Wrecking of the house with the salvage of all valuable materials and clearing of the site was accomplished early in 1953. Subsequently, in the summer of 1953, brick from the two large chimneys were salvaged and used in the restoration of brick walks and for other purposes at Somerset Place. So, although the Bonarva House no longer exists, pieces of it live on throughout our restored historic site. You can also visit the area of the Lost Plantation House within Pettigrew State Park. 
which is marked by a North Carolina Civil War Trails historical marker and the original magnolia tree standing nearby. However, Bonarva is not the only lost Pettigrew plantation, and so on our next episode, we'll learn about the history of Magnolia and its connections to Somerset Place. Until then, please subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and thanks for joining us. Mm-hmm.